and in this tutorial we will be building our second practical program and it's going to be primarily a console application that you could maybe use in several business environments and I'll show you what I mean so I already have a employees.txt file with two headers name and salary and then the employee list on top and then several employees names with their salary on the right and you'll notice that it has their first and last name so that's going to be a, a tricky part with this program that we're going to have to pay attention to but the primary focus of this program is to be able to read in this file and then display the contents of the file in the console window and no matter what if someone goes in and changes this file maybe throws in a, another name like Jake Long and then adds another salary to it so we added you know 82,000 to the salary whenever this file updates we want our program to automatically know that it updates and uh, be able to add that name to the console so that being said that's something that we're gonna have to really focus on as we build this code and uh, after we're done building it I really advise you to try and see if you can go in and use file output and file input together to create a program using everything that we've learned and uh, modify this program to where you can maybe you know push the number one and it and you can add a name to the list or if you push number two you can delete a name from the list and it will constantly be updating this employee list file and the idea is for it to seem like a human resource uh, program that companies could use to kinda update all the employees that are on their payroll so that being said let's continue on and let's start this uh, let's start coding this so the first thing we need to do is include our libraries and we know that we're gonna be dealing with files a lot so let's go ahead and include that library the file stream library and then the other library we want to include since since we're gonna be printing out this data in the console window we're probably gonna be doing a lot of output manipulation so let's include the input output manipulation library which is pound include io manip if you remember from the last tutorial so now that we have all the libraries that we need we're gonna go ahead and continue on to the main function and uh, and set up our file input so to speak so so we need to include our file input handle with the input file stream um, declaration and we're just gonna call it input or we'll call it we'll give it a different name we'll call it employee file and we'll say employees dot txt for the constructor and uh, we'll go over constructors maybe in a future class if, if I do an advanced C++ um, tutorial on you know classes and advanced data structures but basically this is this is a function of if stream and this is the constructor and all we're saying is we want to create a file handle called employee file and we want this file to automatically be associated with this text file and I know we went over that in the file input tutorial but I just kinda wanted to rehash your memory about that idea so then let's set up our um, checking function to make sure that this file is found employee file we're gonna say see out employee text file not found we'll end the line a few times just so we can throw those in there and then we'll return negative nine so let's go ahead and run it make sure we don't get any errors and that the file is found and it appears that the file was found because the process returned zero rather than negative nine so we're good to go and then let's go ahead and set up some variables to hold this data so let's make a string employee name variable and then let's make an int employee salary variable and these are the two variables that we're gonna use and since we don't know since we're gonna make this program to where you can kind of um, update this program at any time and we don't want to have to go in and change the size of our arrays we're not going to use an array 
but instead we're going to actually use our output in our while loop that we use to read in the um, input and I'll show you what I mean so the first thing we need to do after declaring our variables with this program is get rid of these headers because we don't want to save these headers in any string and to do that we're going to use our ignore function so we're going to say employee file dot ignore and then the 255 characters in the new line delimiter that's for the first line so that's going to ignore this um, this first line in employees.txt now we need to ignore the second line so we're going to say employee file dot ignore 255 new line delimiter colon colon and then the semicolon so now that we've got rid of these headers we can actually start our pre-read and our post-read and our while loop and start uh, reading in this data and printing it out so to do that let's go ahead and comment pre-read we're gonna put in our pre-read right here but remember we want to hold the whole employee name um, in one variable so we can't just read in one name at a time we're gonna have to read in all this at a time without actually picking up this data so we can't use get line and actually read in the whole data we're gonna actually have to make use of our delimiter and stream size with the get line function so let's do that now so for our pre-read we're gonna say get line our employee file is our or is our input stream and then for the stream size well we need to assume that no name is pretty much going to be 50 characters long because that's going to be a really that's going to be a really long name so like a 50 character long would probably name would co probably come all the way out here all the way to the beginning of salary nearly so we're going to use 50 as our stream size uh, delimiter pretty much and uh, but first we need to hold it into a variable so we're going to say em employee name employee name is our variable and then we're gonna put in our stream size which is 50 and if we run that we shouldn't get an error okay so we do get an error but we need to and it, it's probably because we need a delimiter and we're, so we're just gonna throw in a new line delimiter because we shouldn't reach that and let's see if that runs and it still doesn't run so let, let's look at our functions let me uh, go back real quick and let's see what uh, we can throw in here uh, for a delimiter so we start out with the input basic stream basic stream input and then character delimiter so I'm pretty sure that the only thing we can do is a delimiter on the get line and to do that let's go ahead and say let's see if this works if we just put in a delimiter on get line and that does work just by putting in a delimiter so I don't I don't think let me add a comma I think you can maybe I was thinking maybe you could add in a size but apparently that throws an error so you can't throw in a size you can only throw in a delimiter so the delimiter that we're gonna use let's go ahead and do that the delimiter that we'll use is a comma okay that'll be the delimiter that we use and we're gonna update our text file this employee text file to separate the names uh, and the salaries with a comma so you know it can just be like this it doesn't even that only have to be lined up correctly or anything like that but we will go ahead and do that so so we have these this text file right and I kinda want let's make it a little bit prettier so that so that uh, it looks nice and we have these commas separating the names and the salary because the get line function as of right now just off the top of my head doesn't use a stream size delimiter like the ignore function does so like if the ignore function we could uh, we could actually put in a stream size and ignore up to a certain point but on this one we're going to use a delimiter which is the comma so basically what's happening with the get line is is that we're using the employee file stream we're storing the ver the data in the employee name string variable and all the data that we're storing in there is all the day all the data up to this um, comma right here 
which is what we set as a delimiter. So let's save that and let's uh, throw in our while loop now. So we're going to say while not employee file dot eof function. Let's go ahead and set up a post read. We'll comment the function so we know where it is and our post read is going to be the same as of right now um, to to store our data. It's going to be the same as our pre-read. So we're going to store employee, we're going to store employee name and then the delimiter of a comma and then a semicolon. But remember, the pre-read and the post-read isn't complete yet because we need the whole name and then we also want to store the salary. And to do that, we need to add something in our pre-read and post-read. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to extend our pre-read by a line and we're going to say employee file use the input stream operator and then say employee salary and the same thing with our post read so we'll say sorry about that employee file input stream employee salary just like that and that concludes our pre-read and post read and if we run that everything should run fine with no errors and we're actually uh, reading in all the data into a variable but the thing is we're constantly overriding the same variable because we don't have an array set up yet well we don't need an array because we're going to actually print out everything that we need in this um, while loop so let's go ahead and do that we're going to say we're going to set it up we're going to say C out and let's actually set up a we're going to go ahead and set up our input to where everything works just like we want it so at the top we're going to set up a how we're going to manipulate our output with C out left and then we really don't need a set precision and fixed because we're not dealing with decimal values so we'll just say C out left up there and then right here we'll say set W and we'll say 25 and then employee name and then set W 25 Actually, we won't even need that one since we're using the left and tor left orientation. So we'll just say set w25 employee name, and then I think if we just say employee salary, it should output just like we want into line. And let's see how that works. And there you go. So we have the name, and then the salary, and then a new line, the name, and then a salary, and then a new line just like we wanted but let, let's make this a little bit prettier let's go outside of the loop and let's add some uh, let's add some output so we'll say we'll say something along the lines of right here before our ignore we'll say see out um, tab a few tabs and we'll say employee um, or we'll say human resources human resources payroll list and then we'll end a few lines and then we'll say C out set W 25 full name and then salary and then we'll end a few lines again and what this output will do is it will make it look nice and set it up for us so we have full name salary Okay, so, but salary needs to go over more, and I think the reason why is because we have um, this Jimmy Clark and Benjamin, it's actually picking up all the data to the comma. So, just the way it looks right now, even though we have the same width, it's not the same because, because of the length of these variables. They're actually a lot longer than just Jimmy Clark because it's storing all the white space up to the comma that we used as a delimiter so let's just push salary out a little bit further and it's going to kind of be a hit and miss type thing for now we'll just use um, 35 and see see what that looks like and 35 is nearly there right over the top we'll just add you know maybe 37 and see what that looks like 37 perfect so we have human resources payroll list and then we have the header full name and then salary and then we have a whole list of everyone on payroll and their salary and if we update this employees.txt file I just want to show you 
So we could say um, Jimmy Johnson, and we'll just add a comma, and we'll give him, you know, 100, or we'll just give him 13,000, and we'll save it. When we run this program again, Jimmy Johnson will be added because we put everything inside our while loop. And that's kind of what I wanted to um, do for this practical program was kind of show you how you can update instantly just by using these variables inside the while loop and not having to use a data structure like an array. So I want you to play with this. I want you to figure out maybe a better way to do it on your own if you can. Kind of dive into more output manipulation and see if maybe you can, uh, you know, if we obviously if we changed the delimiter, if we changed the comma, like let's say we pulled the comma all the way to right here, you know, in, in our text file, that should change exactly how our uh, program looks. So let me just show you that real quick before I leave, because I want to show you that just by changing your text file, it's going to actually change the output of your program since we're using a comma as a delimiter. So let me just fix this real quick. And since we're using this comma as a delimiter, the variable, like on Jake Long, for instance, is actually this long, this many characters. And when we save it, you should be able to see the uh, difference in our program. So you see how much shorter, since our variable names are actually shorter, that these numbers shift over. And that's kind of why I was wanting to show you, and that's why we had to push salary over to kind of uh, compensate for that uh, delimiter uh, being the comma and how far over it was in the text file.